Hey, this is David Richter Scale Studios doing a little Gonzo's video in my dining room. A studio update. Uh, you are looking at a kill team size regulation table. Uh, I'm using Andrew Askinall's uh, War Layer 3 tiles. Uh, this is going to be his upcoming uh, Kickstarter in September, I believe. Uh, don't quote me on that. Uh, these are all uh, pre production or pre. Um, these are prototypes, let's say that. These are prototype tiles. So I don't know if he's going to do anything different with it. Um, I'm on 36 by 24 inch pink foam, one inch thick. I'm going to keep the uh, overhang of this and I might detail it out like some rough rock or broken rock or something like that. That'd be kind of cool. And I got to show you the tiles. Uh, most of it is done in total pack white PLA. Uh, we have a little Solutech gray. I didn't want to waste it. I love this stuff. It prints amazing. Every time I try to find this on Amazon, because I like gray PLA for my terrain pieces, uh, it is out, so I grab some. I'll have links below. There should still be some in stock. Um, this is going to fit the um, game really well. He also put some hatches in, and if you go through the new Kill Team book, there's some kind of tunnel rules and stuff like that, so you can throw them in your campaigns or your, your battles. And then let's go over the uh, types of tiles. This is a stonework tile with a, a, a sewer grate. Uh, these are kind of like, they have these are like named with E's and stuff like that. So they're not the real names yet. This is kind of more mechanical or a sector mechanicus type of thing. And then this is some kind of, uh, they, they're called bridges. These are called fuel tops. We've ever seen some of those other prints from the previous uh, uh, Kickstarters. These are like big fuel canisters you've seen in, the, uh, I think it was one. Or maybe part two, I'm not sure, but they're, they're out there. And this is kind of a cool thing. I wanted to break it up somehow. And these are called Gothic tiles. And they have the bigger ones too, but I wanted to use something to break up the board a little bit. So I use these all as walkways and I took a uh, license to break them up and made one by ones and added my own uh, personal eagles to everything. And these are kind of funny. I designed these years ago to put on um, like uh, um, regular hobbying tables, like just build the uh, games workshop buildings and put them on uh, MDF and throw some broken eagles and stuff. And I didn't want to violate any um, intellectual property rules. So I designed this and for some reason, it really looks like the Van Halen album cover work for Van Halen 2 from 1979. And when I designed it, I wasn't thinking of that. And, but it turned out looking kind of cool. And it kind of just breaks up the tile a little bit, gives a little more detail. So uh, I told Andrew about it. He goes, yeah, just do whatever you want with it. Make it look cool. So um, that is it on this. Um, and I'll just do a little preview on some of the uh, stuff I've been doing with War Layer 3. Amazing. This is uh, his best work yet. We've got stairs with supports. We've got these giant gothic, very chunky uh, towers. We've got some ruined buildings. We've got some uh, barricades. I'm going to come back and uh, just do a little setup of this stuff and show you what it looks like. And then I'm going to do a full... Um, review this stuff uh, when I get more of it printed and maybe some better paint jobs. This is all down and dirty, my down and dirty rust, obviously. And uh, we'll be back in Okay, you can see this table fills up nicely. And also I have a little uh, bonus piece I put in. This is not War Layer 3. This is uh, the Orbital Heavy Lifter from War Layer 1. I just love that piece. I keep threatening to paint it, but it looks cool. I always want to show it off. I love that. It's one of my favorite pieces Andrew's ever done. Uh, it, I mean, this table fills up so nicely with this terrain. And this is not all, I mean, there's so much stuff that's on these files that he sent to me. Uh, it's just overwhelming. I just love uh, the damaged uh, floors that you can put on top of these uh, two wall um, pieces. This cathedral roof is insane. It's a long print, but it's worth every hour. And the detail is amazing. This is supposed to be a really quick uh, Thing. I want to do a full um, review of this stuff that uh, gives it some, uh, justify all this work he's done. And look how uh, the stairs are workable with my little orc kill team. I'm not sure if this is a legit um, kill team points with the space marines. And you can see how these uh, gothic uh, barricades look. And I mean, this looks really cool. I believe the uh, table that is uh, a legit uh, Kill Team 40K table is 22 by 30. This is 22 and a half by 33, so you have a little extra uh, room. That's all the printed plastic I'm, I'm measuring out. 
And obviously I have a 26, uh, 24 by 36 um, piece of foam on top uh, that's gonna be mounted on. So I just wanna show this real quick. We're gonna come back after, I mean, I'm gonna do more videos on this. I'm gonna paint this thing and that's gonna be pretty uh, involved because you have all these different sectors. It's a lot of masking. I'll do some spray painting first. I gotta bring the airbrush out and I think I might use something like an easel to paint it. I think that might make it easier on myself. And there's gonna be a lot of hand painting too, because a lot of metallics I wanna use. And of course, my uh, Van Halen Two Eagles, I still laugh at that. So uh, thank you for joining me. The TL Smoother video is being edited right now. Uh, uh, some epic terrain that I used for the, the comparison between, for the Ender 3, with the TL Smoothers. So uh, as usual, thank you for joining me. Happy Sunday again, and we'll see you in the next video.